Here's something ironic. When gym bros want to say that someone has skinny, insufficiently muscular legs, the epithet they reach for is chicken legs. If you have skinny legs, you are said to have chicken legs. This is ironic because your typical modern broiler chicken has Tom Platt's level legs. Big Rammy thighs, Dorian Yates calves. Chickens do not have chicken legs. Why the widespread false impression to the contrary? Well, it's because the part of the chicken that we think is its leg is actually its foot. And chickens do have skinny feet. Hello, I'm Adam Ragusea. I make internet videos about food that a surprisingly large number of people seem to like watching, and I have a large reserve of acoustical foam in my house, so I figured why not start a podcast? I was supposed to be a podcaster. I was a radio reporter for many years, and I was around for the initial podcast explosion, and I had my hand in various pods, even as I was teaching at a university full-time. And it is because I am a pod person that I made my first cooking videos. I made them because I needed to teach video, and I knew nothing about video. Some would say I still do not. But anyway, I made some fun food videos for practice because all I knew about was audio stuff, and then one of those videos blew up randomly about four years ago, and now here we are. All of this is to say that with the new podcast, I am back, and it feels good to be home in the pod. I am happy to have hardly any plan about what this show will be. All I can tell you is that I'm planning to release an episode every... Release schedule to be determined. The episodes will start with a little riff about whatever is on my mind that week, and I am calling it little, aspirationally, knowing me it will probably get absurdly long pretty fast. And then after I do that riff, I will have a conversation with somebody, anybody interesting who eats. Like, I'm going to talk to Obi and Salma from the cooking channel Middle Eats, which is exactly what it sounds like. Because it's really hard to do uh, research for Iranian recipes because most of the videos are in Persian and, you know, there's no way I can understand that. And they're not translated. Um, and we had, and like all the um, videos that I had seen that were in English, just something seemed so off about them. You know, there was just so much pomegranate molasses. Like, why would or you put... too little. No, 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 so much. There was like a cup and a half of like pomegranate molasses. I was like, just, that is just diabetes in a, you know, in a dish. I'm going to talk to them. I'm also going to talk with my friends Ben Harrison and Adam Pranica, who make a couple of Star Trek recap podcasts over on the Maximum Fun Podcast Network. The three of us are going to recap and review movies that heavily feature food or cooking. We're starting with Stanley Tucci's Big Night. Is the food safety rating of this restaurant just a Mr. Yuck face outside, given <laughs> given where given Shaloub's hairy arms and where the the, the staff sleeps at night? <laughs> yeah, and that sink like, that doesn't work, you can't open a restaurant with a You're not a, counting on the naturally sink. antimicrobial properties of wooden cutting boards, which mm. my audience loves to remind me about. Yeah. Because hey, is this I'd... seasoning the cutting board, Goose? Oh. You just season it with an employee? Oh, God. You bring it here? <laughs> you bring it to my home. Yeah. My home! I... In my bedroom where my wife sleeps. Yeah. I didn't I didn't catch which of the two omelet plates he put the vinegar on, though. Was it the one on the right or on the left? I love those two boys. They're the best. The cool thing about food is that it connects directly with nearly every other aspect of life. So I'm hoping that the podcast can be a place where we talk about things a little farther afield of what we normally discuss in the videos. I think that we'll find more room here on the pod to talk about music and movies and art and YouTubing and life and family and relationships and work and health and fitness. And that's why we started this whole thing with a bodybuilding metaphor about chickens. Or was it a chicken metaphor about bodybuilding? In any case, yes, chickens do not have skinny legs. The drumstick, the bone with the giant lump of dark meat at one end, that lump is the chicken's calf muzzle. The drumstick is the shin or lower leg of the chicken, and it has Yates-level calves. The skinny little sticks you see chickens walking around on are not its legs, but its feet. Chickens, like most birds, are digit-grade animals, meaning they walk on their toes, not on their feet. 
our feet, our human feet, are parallel to the ground, and they kind of roll across the ground as we walk, making us plantigrade animals. Chicken feet are perpendicular to the ground, and they hang out in the air like a pair of very skinny legs, which they are not. So the next time a gym bro says that you have chicken legs, say thank you. As I shall thank you for hitting subscribe wherever you have found this recording. There is a video version on video platforms and a purely audio version on any podcatcher. Just search Adam Ragusea Podcast. This is not the first episode of the pod. This is episode zero. It's just a little promo teaser situation. The show proper will launch sometime in March in this, the year of our Lord, 2022. Show coming in March. Until then, I'll see you every Monday and Thursday on the YouTubes. Keep your vinegar leg on the right. You don't want to know what happens if you put it on the left.